I don't shy away from tough topics because I see all the issues and the terrible circumstances that I write about, I see them around me. My name is Jasmine Ward and I'm a writer. Growing up in Little Mississippi has influenced me in many ways. Growing up here taught me to appreciate beauty, the beauty of the bayous and of the forests and of the gulf. Growing up in this community taught me to appreciate storytelling, taught me to appreciate language. I was a reader. I loved the fact that I could sit down with a book and that it would open a door to a world that was completely different from the one that I lived in. It was hard for me to find books that featured somebody like me. And I think that that made me feel a little invisible. Salvage the Bones takes place on the Mississippi Gulf Coast during the 10 days preceding Hurricane Katrina and then Hurricane Katrina hits. The novel is told from a first person perspective of a 15 year old girl, a young black girl named Esh, who at the beginning of the novel, she finds out she's pregnant and it's not something that is planned. And so it was very important to me that she gets the opportunity to tell her story, to communicate sort of you know, how she sees the world, how she sees herself, you know, what she understands about the world and what she misunderstands about the world. I really wanted her to speak. I wanted her voice to speak to the reader. I'm honest about what, you know, my characters are living through. And in my family and in my community, I see people struggling with drug addiction. I see people struggling with poverty and the effects of generation, generational poverty. I see people struggling with lack of access to health care. If I'm honest about the people that I love and about the people that I care about, then I need my characters to live through the same things that the people that I love and the people that I care about are living with, right, and are struggling with. I know it's been easy for people who are not familiar with them to stereotype them, to see them as being only one thing, to flatten them. And that bothers me, you know, because I know that they are people, you know, like, any, like anyone else, and that they struggle with the same things that, you know, that all human beings struggle with. I hope people who read my books that they perhaps feel empathy for us, you know, and really see us as a complicated people.